My name is Antonio Lain, and I'm the founder of KBS Labs. Future collaborative apps should have the following features. First, allow us to easily change providers for the video APIs and maintain the same experience. The threat of vendor lock-in is discouraging a deeper integration of apps with business APIs. And they are not really providing as much value as they could. Second, pick the best of breed supporting apps without being stuck with the ones that your, your provider gives you. We are currently living in a pre-iPhone world for collaborative apps. These apps should come from a store like the KBS Cloud, use a pay-per-use model, and also have a fully managed backend. And we should also be able to customize them by adding our company branding or integrating them with our business APIs. Third, sharing any device around us should be as easy as sharing your desktop. And this is a game changer. Propagate touch with a Bluetooth device attached to your skin or provide your vitals to a remote doctor in real time or allow a remote coach to adjust your bike resistance while monitoring your heart rate or enable an interior designer in Japan to configure your smart lights at home. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. By safely sharing billions of connected devices, we will transform how we interact with the world. Fourth, let's make the ultimate party. Millions of actions anywhere in the world can be synchronized very accurately, either with global time or just with the video stream during a replay. So the next time that you watch a horror movie online, you will feel that cold hand around your neck just at the right time. But beware that we cannot provide hard real-time guarantees. So please don't use this for safety critical applications. Fifth, Let's make it personal. 100,000 simultaneous viewers of a webinar, and they can all see something slightly different. Change the language, use examples based on the local context, follow the preferences of each participant. Let's make it more interesting and easier to understand. And changes can be very dynamic and be based on the input of others transforming a webinar into an interactive experience. Sixth, embrace mobile first design. We are transitioning to a hybrid work model. Some people will be on the go, others at the office and the rest at home. The assumption that everybody's at home with a laptop and a stable high bandwidth connection is no longer true. If we want everybody to feel like a first-class citizen, we need to provide a great experience on all sorts of devices and environments. Create responsive interfaces that adapt to the form factor, screen size, or orientation, with pixel-perfect backgrounds and smooth animations. Apps that adapt when the bandwidth available changes. And if you are presenting, the content should be uploaded beforehand to the cloud and then use the phone as a control device. And finally, we need to prepare for the transition to VR AR. Most collaborative apps will eventually become VR AR apps, but it will take a long time before we can assume that everybody in the session is wearing a VR headset. And we need again to create a great experience for everybody. We need to add a new dimension to a responsive design. Picking the best UI for the device, whether it is 2D, 3D, 
or 3D with six degrees of freedom, or something in between. And the platform should keep all these different interfaces in sync by changing a shared model. Let's summarize. Collaboration apps should easily replace API vendors while keeping the same experience. They should also integrate with other supporting apps that are not necessarily coming from these vendors. They should enable the sharing of local devices and facilitate the coordination of actions across the globe in real time. They should provide personalized streams and adopt a mobile first design. And finally, they should provide an incremental path to VR and AR. At CAPGS Labs, we are building a platform to create, host, and monetize collaboration apps that apply these principles. Apps that follow the WAV architecture, implemented with the CAPGS framework and the CAPGS cloud. WAV stands for Web App Background. The core idea is to split the app into two independent layers. The top layer is transparent, it contains the video and audio components. The background layer contains our application logic, and it is a web app that runs everywhere in a synchronized manner. We delay the merging of these two layers until the last minute, when the video reaches the endpoint. With independent layers, we can swap the web without affecting the comms, or swap the comms without changing the interaction. With a local web app instance, we can personalize the stream, leverage responsive web designs, and deliver a high quality mobile experience. With a local web app, we can also take advantage of web Bluetooth APIs to talk with local devices or WebXR APIs to provide an incremental path to VR and AR. To learn more, we have a couple of videos in our CAPGS YouTube channel. The first one describes how we implement the WAP architecture with CAPGS and show you many example WAPs. The second one targets programmers that want to create a first WAP and deploy it in the cloud using CAPGS Cloud. Read the documentation in our website. The code is open source and in GitHub, and you can sign up to the CAPGS Cloud for free and with no credit card. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for listening.